What is up, Obscure Mike people? It is Bart coming at you yet again, and today we've got a requested one from IX Tech, and it is the Mike 01, I believe that's what it was called, the MIC01 from IX Tech. It is an XLR USB dynamic end address microphone that looks a lot like a blue Sona. Sauna, Sona, getting sweaty in the sauna. Let's unbox this thing, take a look at it, then check it out. For the sake of knowing I'm on the SM58, it just seems like a good opener for things when I'm lazy. I don't feel like wiring up an XLR USB mic right now. And uh, I do want to see what this sounds like in comparison to this because this is $89.99. Bucks. This is $89. Bucks. But let me tell you, before we unbox it, I got this for $45. There was a 50% off coupon on Amazon. I've seen that happen twice in the short time that this has been out. So maybe don't pay 89 bucks for it. Pop the microphone. Maybe wait to see when that coupon pops back up. Maybe check on it daily. That's worth saving 45 bucks in my opinion. I am positive that this will have a 50% off coupon yet again. Currently today it was a 10% off coupon and they were short stock when I got it, but now it doesn't say short stock. So be patient, save money. Let's go. Opening up the IX Tech. The box is heavy. Feels good. Yes, I have messed around with it. I've already opened it and stuff, but for the sake of unboxing, we'll, uh, we'll do all that. I'll pull the mic out in a second. We got a cheap XLR cable, XLR to XLR. It's one with like, that barely feels metal, that kind. We've got a pretty long USB A to C cable, some documentation, of course. And of course, the a microphone that I put in haphazardly. On the microphone, you're going to get that square body. You're going to get a windscreen that just pulls right off. No plastic to make it sink in. We've seen this design with the screw holding in the grill before. Looks like there is a pop filter in there. All square. IX Tech square pants. Uh, we've got a half yoke with a 5 8 threading. And then down in there a little farther is a 3 8 So no need for a stand adapter. That's always good. On the top of the microphone, we have volume up and down. We have a mute button. And then we have a capacitive touch toggle switch for headphones and microphone volume. And on the bottom, we've got a headphone jack, USB-C connector, and XLR connector, and IX Tech and some other wording. Yeehaw, yoo-hoo. Nothing on the bottom. All metal, just to be sure. It is all metal. The whole thing's metal. It feels good in the hand. It doesn't feel cheap whatsoever. This is fairly impressive build quality wise for sure. Okay, now you are hearing the IX Tech Mic 01 in XLR mode. And compared to the SM58, it is lacking some bottom. It is a little top heavy. And I don't like it compared to the SM58. I, uh, I don't hate it. It's not the worst thing ever, but to me, it does not sound great. Again, when you can get this, I imagine an XM8500 also still sounds better. So if you want this, I'm just going to get it out there from the get-go. I think that you have to be aesthetically excited about it and are completely cool with EQ, which most people are, but I like my mic to sound good to go out of the box for those quick, easy recordings. Cause I'm, I'm that guy. That's, that's exactly who I am. I record the shit, I put it out, and it's done. Let's do some testing. We're going to do plosives first. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickle pineapple pizza. Stops them for the most part, but there is still some plosives there as usual. When you get right on top of the microphone, this is what it sounds like when you're about half an inch to an inch away uh, off the end of the grill. This is what the microphone sounds like. Now I'm going to take the microphone and I'm going to go 90 degrees off axis. 180 degrees off axis, 90 degrees yet again, and then slowly back around to the front of the microphone. Now, let's throw it into USB mode because I am pretty certain that USB mode sounds different than XLR mode. I do believe it gives it a little more robust of a bottom. That is what she said. And I think I actually like it more as a USB mic, which usually I'm the opposite way. I usually go to bat for XLR over USB, but let's change it up. See what it sounds like in 
in the video for all of our sakes. All right, we're now in USB mode. And first things first, you can record the XLR and USB out. They do work simultaneously. It is causing no issues with the headphones, no issues with anything else. And the headphone monitoring is actually excellent, like super excellent. The headphone monitoring sounds really good. The microphone sounds um, a little better through the headphone monitoring. I don't know if that's the monitoring or the mic, but I do think that it does have a little more of a flat sound in USB mode. Not like a great amount of flatter sound, but if that makes any sense, but it is flatter in my opinion. I think it sounds pretty good. I think if you plan on using this as a USB mic, primarily instead of an XLR mic, I think it's uh, I think it's pretty decent at 45 bucks. The build quality is good. The monitoring works. The mute button. And it does turn red when it's muted, blue when it's not. Uh, the up and down volume control, it does work pretty well for the microphone. I will hold the, uh, let me see, it's da, 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 I could not the first time and I cannot now get the headphone volume up and down to work. And it is in headphone mode. When you hold the mute button for two seconds, it toggles back and forth between microphone volume and headphone volume. And microphone volume works really well when I'm changing it here. And then I go back up, back up, capacitive touch. And that works pretty well. But when I switch it to the headphones that just lit up, if you're paying attention, uh, I don't get any kind of volume control actually, which I feel like I run into this problem a lot. One function on every USB mic I use just seems to say, piss off bark bark by the way not bart as in simpson i love when the comments are like hey bart and i'm like what buddy bark like rough rough woof yeah all right on the bb sar i'm gonna give the myco one from ix tech a score of a six i think it is a little above average and i am grading that off the 50% off coupon that I am sure is going to come back out. I would not pay $90 for this, but I absolutely would pay $45 for it. The headphone monitoring, it really is fine, even though I can't change anything. The only way I can change it is to take the mic up and down, which is the case with a lot of USB mics. Unfortunate, yes, but maybe I just have a defect on mine and maybe yours will work so if you buy it let me know in the comments down below if the headphone volume controls did work for me it did not so link in the description it's i mean it's good at 45 bucks if you're looking for this style you like the sound of it in usb mode especially uh, or if you've got that michael clark duncan voice that's going to work in xlr you know i'm tired boss do it but 45 bucks kind of a no-brainer if you don't own a mic because 45 bucks is super cheap and again i do like the way it sounds in usb mode a little bit more neutral and uh you know it works it works levels are good preamps fine everything's good 45 bucks obscure mics i'll see you guys next time peace out